What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. It is only a couple days since the release of Marvel's Spider-Man, and we're already mind blown by the game's quality and authenticity. So for that reason, we are going to review the game in its entirety. Keep in mind, there will be no major story spoilers, so if you haven't played the game, don't worry. I won't give anything away. But, let's get started. To start off, the story takes place in Manhattan, where you play as a more mature Peter Parker. He's out of college, he quit the Daily Bugle, and is now working for his good friend Otto Octavius as they attempt to change the world together by inventing advanced prosthetics. During the entirety of the story, Peter and Spider-Man develop in spite of each other, forcing the man underneath the mask to balance his two lives, and the challenges definitely show throughout the story. You fight numerous bosses throughout the story as well, and they're all pretty challenging and fun to fight. The story also has some twists and turns, and it's very authentic to the Spider-Man we all know. Now we need to talk about the graphics. It has been so long since we as gamers were able to play a good Spider-Man game. The older games that had Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Web of Shadows, Shattered Dimensions, and Edge of Time were excellent. But they're a little outdated for current gen. Marvel Spider-Man takes the graphics up a notch and reimagines New York City in a realistic way. Everything from real and Marvel landmarks looks so real, and the placement of the real landmarks are accurate and fun to explore. The Empire State Building, Central Park, even the Avengers Towers are places you should definitely check out. On top of all this, the character models look great, the facial animations are spot on, and Spider-Man as well as a couple other characters look great as well. Now for some gameplay. Insomniac Games did an amazing job capturing the feel of web-slinging, wall-crawling, and basically just transversing the New York map. As Spider-Man, you feel like a master of your own domain, whether you're parkouring on rooftops, web-zipping across certain checkpoints for increased speed, or doing flips in the air just to be caught last second by the web-sling and zoom through crowds of cars. It's so awesome, and you can easily cover any distance in a short amount of time. The fighting is also something to note. They took some inspiration from previous Spider-Man games and the Arkham games to provide a smooth and satisfying combat structure. The implementation of different gadgets calls for a variety of different ways to deal with certain targets, and there's even a stealth aspect to the game that calls back to the noir Spider-Man gameplay. You can also upgrade your character and craft different spider suits to further customize your experience. And furthermore, the whole map has tons of side quests and collectibles to endure. It keeps the game alive, there's always something to do, and you can even interrupt local crimes or shut down crime bases, and even more. So overall, Spider-Man is a great way to fully immerse yourself in Peter Parker's storyline as the web-slinger himself. The story is interesting, the graphics are impressive, the gameplay is satisfying and fun, and the open world is busy. So for all these reasons, Marvel's Spider-Man gets a 9.5 out of 10 for this Rage Quit review. The only reason why it didn't get a perfect score is simply because sometimes there are minor glitches that break immersion, such as sticky corners when you're fighting enemies, some camera problems, some rendering issues here and there, but besides that, Spider-Man is an awesome game, and if you are a hardcore Spidey fan, definitely pick this up and have some fun. Thank you all for watching this video, and as always, I will see you on the next one.